Africa should feature foremost as a source of South African marketers' inspiration, research and advertising insights. Instead of following overseas trends, South African marketers should be drawing inspiration from sub-Saharan Africa in a dynamic marketplace. This is according to the CEO of Ornico, Oresti Patricios. Oresti, the whole image of Nigeria in terms of the world is not really a positive one yet. It's getting all the investment. It's actually growing in real terms as opposed to the South African economy. What lessons should we be learning from that? I think Nigeria, I mean, one of the, th the great things about Nigeria is that they're a very, very positive nation. Mm. Um, they're entrepreneurial. They'll go out there and try and find opportunities at, at any corner. Um, and I think they're getting, they're getting certain things right. We've been, I've been going to Nigeria for the last five years. And I must say, it's amazing how over the last five years, how you've seen that country change. In certain aspects, I mean... The but why do they continue to, which is a lesson we can learn, I mean, they, there is political uncertainty in Nigeria, yeah. certainly in, uh, uh, the religious conflicts that are going on there, yet they are still getting investment. So is politics something that's just ignored? Uh, I think because they're so business-focused at the end of the day, you know, I mean, there is politics, but they're very, very business-focused. It's a huge nation. There's 150 million people, mm. so there's huge opportunities. And they're starting from almost zero, if you really think about it. You know what I mean? So you have a, a gr it's much easier to grow from a lower base. Absolutely. And then looking at it in, in context to South Africa, because you have worked up there, what are we doing wrong? I think we're not thinking about it from a business perspective. Everything is politics. Um, Nigeria is thinking about it from a business perspective. And I mean, business is where it creates your economies. Uh, governments don't necessarily create economies at the end of the day. Um, but again, in, in, terms of, in terms of the kind of policies they're put in, in, putting into place, the headspace of the population there is so entrepreneurial, it's amazing, mm. and, it's, and it creates that energy. I mean, when you land up in Lagos, you know, the airport is frustrating to get through, but I mean, once you're through that, the, the energy is unbelievable. Is it easy to invest in Nigeria and to start a business? N not necessarily. I mean, we, it's important that you get a partner. You know, if you don't do it with a partner, it becomes hell of a hell of a difficult. Um, the reality is that people think that Nigeria, you have to bribe everywhere you go. We didn't pay one cent bribe. It does take a lot longer, um, but the reality is it can be done without paying anything. Um, is it easier to do business? That's say a contrast. Is it easier for a person to invest in South Africa and open a business? Yes, I would say it would be a, 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 a lot easier. I think our structures are, mm. our, our structures are here, and that's the reason why it can, uh, it's easier to do business. And remember, doing business is not only about starting the business. You know, at least, I know we complain about Eskom, but at least we have consistent power. Mm. You know, in Nigeria, the power's down consistently. We, you know, we're running generators, huge generators, sometimes for up to two weeks at a time, and that's costly. Um, transport, the, uh, now to get from one uh, appointment to another, it's almost chaotic. So it's, it is a lot easier working in South Africa, but the opportunities in Nigeria are, are, are huge. What type of opportunities exist in Nigeria? I think, well, from our perspective, I mean, we're looking at it really from a, from a brand perspective and advertising perspective. And the reality is that there's no, there's no data. So any little bit of data helps brands tremendously to try and get into that, to get into that space. Um, but I mean, really, if I'm, uh, there's, there, there are opportunities, electricity from that perspective, there's op huge, huge opportunities um, to provide good, reliable electricity from that perspective and people constructing, uh, construction is big. Um, but also brands going in, I mean, p brands like uh, luxury brands or even South African brands that, mm. that, that are moving into Nigeria are, are doing pretty well. Oresti Patrikia, CEO Ornico, thank you for your time on Classic Business.